Hey guys, quick note before we start the video, I will be doing a Q&A video very soon, maybe in a week's time, so uh, in every video I will be asking for your questions, so post them down in the comments below right now if you wish for me to answer them. It could be anything. It could be video game related, IRL related, you know, just not in a weird way. Uh, so just go ahead and ask away and I'll do my best to answer them in the future Q&A videos. So let's get started with this video right now. Hey guys, and welcome to another RuneScape video. Today we will be checking out my bank, my stats, and just... It's not going to be an update video, but it's going to be a bank video. And I'm going to start doing these monthly, as I've seen uh, other YouTubers do it. For example, Heaven's Nooblet, I believe that's his YouTube channel name. I watch him uh, quite a bit, and he does a lot of monthly and weekly things that are, you know, all in order. So I kind of like that, and I would like to have something like that on my channel. Of course, not copy. Um, but a bank video is just a bank video, and people like to see that. So I'm not a 5,000 bill bank kind of guy. I'm just a guy with 1099s, and if you want to call that the average RuneScape player, then sure. Um, so speaking of 99s, let's just go into our stat, my stats and see uh, what happened. So I, I, last month, I'm going to open that up on the next screen, and I'll be back with you. I meant other screen, by the way, but uh, yeah, I have it open on the my other screen, and I didn't get that many levels, but uh, but my levels are already high, so I guess I did. So I'm at two uh, two thousand three hundred and twenty eight total level, and on this one, on last month, December sixth, twenty fourteen, I had twenty two ninety four. So I went up, you know, whatever that is, thirty four thirty four levels. And I got 199 in the process. That was mining. It was 87 at the time a month ago recording this. And just a bunch of other levels here and there, like thieving. That went up a bunch. That went up 10 levels. Um, crafting went up one. A bunch of other levels went up. Uh, but that's uh, that's that. That's cool. Actually, most of it is probably these two right here. Yeah, and one wood cutting, one uh, one dungeoneering, one divination. Uh, but that's that's that. So those are my skills. I have. 230 million, almost 231, total XP. That's not bad. I like that number. Bonus XP is sitting at 617k. I've been using all of it on thieving because I hate this skill and I want it to go as fast as possible. And there's some other skills out there that have XP. Dungeoneering has quite a bit. I don't know why, but it just does. So yeah, let's just get into the bank. That's what everyone wants to see. So let's start at the loot tab here. I will price check this. Um, actually, no, I have it price checked from last episode. I'll just add a mill to it. So, I actually, this is at last episode, the loot loot from 5 mil Slayer XP. This was all 52.8 mil. And I probably get a few more drops, of course. Let's add a mil to that, maybe a little more. So, 53.8 mil, maybe 54 mil. Let's round it to that. And I do like to price check. Uh, these every once in a while, which I have in a while. I still have to buy mine for today. So let's see. Uh, this right here is 7.5 mil alone. Of course, I did buy them 150k um, for 3,000, and I'll be making whatever. But I still like this number. I just like to look at it. So I consider this 7.5 mil profit. I don't like to do all the math and see like how I only made 3 mil off of this, or however much money it is. Uh, but that's that. And then all of these drops here, you can look at them. The ones that maybe you would like to see are the Razorback Gauntlets. I got one of those. I have some Royal Pieces, some Onyx Bolt Tips. Uh, there, there are my bones. Uh, these Maple Logs are probably enough for 93 fire making, right there. Um, a Visage, a Whip Drop, that's always fun to get. Cool and fun to get. And then some Herbs. So that's all that stuff. Let's go into my my potion tab. Nothing much, uh, nothing really changed here. It's just the overloads that went down. I've been starting to put them in crystal flask here, like these searing potions, which is just an overload and an anti fire, super anti fire. So I use that for QBD. And I barely use these supreme overload potions, but if I'm doing something like a Raxor in the future, I'll probably use that. As for my combat, magic, teleport tab, whatever you want to call it, these are my runes. I use them for Vizwax, so they're always changing numbers. Um, everything else got some war priest here. I just got those randomly, but I have the full set. Um, I have full armadillo, full bandos. I had full subjugation, but I changed that back to uh, ganodermic because I just liked it ganodermic. 
plus it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> so yeah, I have a Ceridome and Hiss because I thought, well, it's pretty much the same thing as a Fury, just a little bit better. And of course, just for magic, and it was only 200k, so honestly, just buy that. It's fine. I mean, look at the Fury, 32 for magic and 36 for magic. And this has three pair bonuses, this has two, so it's not that bad. Um, the big money makers here are obviously the armor, the fury, the um, and the draggers, of course. That's pretty much this is pretty much my bank. This, this, and uh, that's my bank. I want I do want to check the other stuff. Like I haven't been in this tab in forever. This is more of my questing and cosmetic tab. Of course, most of my cosmetics are in uh, Diango or however you call them or whatever you call them. But this is all my stuff. Nothing really. Oh, melee. Training dummy. I didn't know I had these. Okay. I knew they were in a weird spot. Okay, so I have these. I'm saving these in case I get uh, some brawling gloves for just XP wise, but it looks like I could, I could get a decent amount of defense XP if I get um, brawling gloves. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my charms tab. This has been going up and down. I used around maybe 400 ish crimson, crimson charms, and a lot of these are gathered without imp, imp catcher, by the way, because I lost that for whatever reason I lost that for. So, yeah, I used some of these charms. I got around 500k summoning XP. I don't know what I made. Oh, I made Pachyax, so I, I used quite a bit. I used some Dragonstone uh, Spirit Gems. I know I should use them for blue, but I don't want to waste the money on the blue, even though it's not a waste. Whatever. Um, but I will save the Onyx for the blue, along with some Ruby and Spirit Emeralds, which I have here. Um, spirit shards, those will be used eventually. And yeah, that's it. So this tab we already went to. My farming tab, uh, my, my farming presets consist of this. Let's go here, farming. I have seven super compost because I just buy it. Now I don't feel like uh, putting it in the combo spins, bins, but I do have the pineapples for it. I put five of whatever seed I have, two white berries because I don't really care what berries I use. I just have that because I feel I should do something else than herbs. And I have uh, this cape on here because it looks cool with my samurai outfit. Botanist top, botanist, uh, botanist gloves, two farmer pieces, uh, explorer ring, magic secateur, and master greenfinger. And then after I'm done with this, I use this to teleport to Tahirin, and I do my tree run, which consists of five willows, or five whatever tree I have, and two uh, curry. I know that's not the best XP. I am 80, 80 farming, so I can, you know, get boatloads of XP, but I choose not to use a bunch of money. And just make it more of a slow skill, because I don't really want 99 for that yet, and I will get it eventually. All these other seeds are just random ones that I have. Two spirit seeds, um, two grapevines. Some guy dropped a bunch of corms for whatever reason. I picked them up. So uh, I got a lot of those. And then these seeds are from Slayer. I use them, I farm uh, with my Slayer seeds most of the time. So yeah, that's my farming tab. Here is my favorite looking tab that I like. I've only used this thing once, so I haven't bought a bunch of this stuff. I know you can make tons of money from this, but I'm not willing to spend IRL money for, you know, in-game money. So, 1099s, these should go in order, so I did get magic first, defense first, Attack, hit points, strength, range, herb lore, slayer, prayer, and mining. So I just need to fill that up with um, 20 or 14 more. I don't know. I don't remember how many 99s exactly. Uh, I'll count later. Two Triskelion pieces, 10 crystal seeds. I use those a ton, as you can see. This one has no charges. Um, but yeah, cool little fact, at least for me. Last year in December, I got my first, or... Last year in December, or not not last year as in 2014, I'm talking 2013, I got uh, my first 99, which was Magic. It was either around that time, and I may have gotten Defense in 2013, but it was definitely early 2014 or late, late, late 2013. Um, but I got 9 or 8 99s in a year, and I think that's amazing. So I really hope to get quite a bit of 99s this year as well, so... Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a cool achievement that I got, I guess. This is my skilling tab. I don't really do much here, even though it looks like a lot's going on. I, I eventually take out maybe your spottier cape if I'm doing agility, but I guess I don't have to anymore with the Elven Course. 
um, my five finger discount aura that's for thieving like pretty much everything down here I use I do have a lot of first I want to know how much first stage stuff I have I only have two first stage I didn't say a lot okay but uh, yeah I have a lot of bonus a lot of bonus uh, things so I have the fishing I have blacksmith artisan not full but I have pieces of it there's some artisan blacksmith I have of course the elf city thieving thing which isn't bonus XP but it helps a little bit and the last tab slayer broad arrows for fletching just got a few levels there or actually just one level these rolling gloves are on their way out they had like four percent left a lot of ferocious rings so remember at a time I barely had any so now I'm you know I'm really good on ferocious rings this is where I keep my food um, this most wanted glacier card I, this was my first thing that I got from uh, whatever that slayer game is called I forget what it's called Oh my god, I forget what it's called. I'll remember it later. Eight daily D&D &D tokens, which I still can't remember what they give you. Fish players, the pet... I, I don't really know what the best one... Probably Guthix uh, Caches. Probably, that's probably the best one. Um, but yeah, that's my bank. I and mean, that's pretty much everything. Now, let's go into what everything's worth. And with Untradeable, 256 mil. And last uh, a year ago, and maybe a month, my bank was probably uh, 50 mil, worth 50 mil. So going up 200 mil in a year, around that roughly, that's amazing. I, I really like that. So 200 mil in a year, I'll take that any day. Um, this is tradable stuff, by the way. But like I said, most of this stuff is from the loot tab, the armor, uh, drag ores, and some other stuff here and there that may be priced a little bit high. Um, some of the runes, so... Yeah, that's a nice number. Equipped items uh, is the Pharaoh's Scepter. That's 1 mil. And my money pouch is 34 mil at the moment. So, money goal, like I said, is definitely Ascension. If not, getting 99 summoning, because that's really close to getting 99. With my charms, I could probably just get 98 if I'm lucky. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below. And I will see you all next time.